just going to center it to the object. I'm just going to put it on zero for a second. I'm just going to get the width here. That's about right. To quickly come up into here, apply the material I normally use. Convert it to an editable poly. Select my move tool. Come to the vertices. Pull this back. Pull this right down. That's about there. Come to full screen here. Just select that and just pull that down. In fact, I'm just going to select the whole thing. Pull it back a bit. Select the underbelly and delete that because it's not going to be seen. Oop, wrong face. There we go. Now, oh, why is it doing that? Right, I'm going to go transparent. Right, there we go. It's definitely the right one. Looks a bit thick, so. Just going to shrink it down a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Weapon's looking a bit more whole now. Right, I'm just going to see what I need to do now. Um, that's alright. It's alright, let's come back to my image reference. I know that I've got to do this area here, but I'm just going to see if there's anything else as well. I've got these little bumps on the side. I, I could model them. I've um, got this little thing there that I can... That's texture. That'll be texture. That's 3D. So I'm just talking to myself here. It's actually an indent at the front. So I'm just gonna Oh no, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave that in fact because you're not even gonna be able to see it really. No, you're definitely not even gonna be able to see it. I mean you can hardly even see this one for God's sake. I mean it's just well you kinda can now because now I know where I'm looking, but you can't even see it, so I'm not quite putting it in. Right, this the whole side's gonna get modeled in another VTM. I might even add it into this one, it depends how much time I'm spending. Right, I'm just gonna go into the back and I'm gonna go to my objects and I'm just gonna create a tube. This tube's just gonna go back here and just gonna change the height to just a a big value so I can just see what I'm doing so I'm going to delete it out in a second. I'm just going to apply my normal material that I use and I'm just going to delete out these faces here. Now I've just got one face at the side I'm just going to... in fact I can just select my element. Now I'll just bring this back, it's a bit off centre. I must have modelled it a bit wrong but just pull that back there. Select the interior and shrink this down a bit because it's a bit too big at the moment. Now I'm just going to select my border. Oh, where am I? There we are. And I'm just going to select this border as well and I'm just going to put that on zero. No I'm not because it's not letting me. I'm just going to select my vertices and then just select all them and then put it on zero that way. Don't know why it never lets me use edge mode to put it on zero but oh well it doesn't matter. Right, I'm just going to quickly apply a symmetry modifier to this. Where are you? There you are. Just make sure it's on zero. Yeah it's on zero. Just put it by Z. Now I'm just going to grab this and select that one and that one. Just make it transparent so you can kind of see which ones I've selected. Now I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to extrude these in the right viewport. There we go. That's going back a bit. Um, just going to pull these down to about here. That'll do. I'm just going to come off there. Just going to select this, and I'm just going to center it to the object. And now I'm just going to bring it down to about there. Now I'm just going to quickly see what it looks like when it's rotated. That looks crap. One sec, I did it to the wrong angle. Needs to be down here. 
so I'm just going to move my pivot again I'm just going to move it down to about there and see how this looks this is what this little space is for here so that can fit inside it and then the top of the weapon goes up oops wrong angle wrong axis just say and top of the weapon goes over it as you can see I could probably come up a bit to see how it looks bang oop wrong one again bang 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 just get solid to see how it looks In fact, I'm just going to select this polygon, move it way back. It's about there. And it looks alright. It's going to. I can't undo because I've changed the model, so I'm just going to move it back quickly. It doesn't need to be perfectly accurate, but anyway. Now I'm just going to come back to here and just. Rotate this back up to where it normally should be. About there. In fact, I could probably do it a bit more. There, that'll do. Right, I'm just going to select my bottom model because I've changed the other s vertices, I mean the other face before. And I'm just going to pull that back to where that is. It's about there. Not perfectly accurate, but it'll do. Right, I'm just going to come back to this. Select these bottom faces, bottom vertices, you should say. And oh, wrong one. I think that's about right now. Let's see how it looks. I mean, it's nothing special really, but it just fills in the area. It kind of looks a bit blank at the back, really, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm just going to grab these and pull them forward a bit. I'm just going to see how this looks. I don't know how dodgy it'd look, but if I can pull them back down a bit. Not there. I need to make hmm. Just rotate this down. It looks really bland. You know the back of the weapon. I mean, if you saw that, because it'd be like. In first person, it'll be round about like like that. It kind of looks just like a blank space, wouldn't it? Ah, it's gonna have to do. I mean, it doesn't really matter, really. Well, it will if you're like putting it in a mod, obviously. I mean, because you can research into it a bit more and see how it actually looks. I'll let you run, do your own development and stuff like that. Right now. What areas do I need to do now? I'm just going to quickly scan around my model, see what needs doing. I know that I need to put another thing into this one. Right, um. Hmm, I think that's about it. It's going to come back to my image references. I think this is on both sides, but the thing disappears, the button. Because I think that's actually the release for the um, clip. It changes on the other side because you've got an indent instead of a button again. That'll be easy to change. Um, I could just add that into these VTMs really. The button's still on the other side. Can you see this area here? These are like all things that I need to add to the other side really. Let's come back to this one. I just need to really make sure that I've finished everything off on this side before I actually change anything else because it would be a bitch to come back and change it. Yep, I think that's it really. Right, I could even add in the section where we start to add in the second side. In fact, I'll do that on the other VTM. Now what? Right, I'm just going to select my whole object and I'm just convert it all to an editable poly. This is basically just going to get rid of all the symmetry modifiers we have and now I can select the other side and I can move it around like look we can just move everything around I mean everything's just solid now 
I mean if you notice that I've still got the symmetry line down the middle but that I'll be gone I'll just get rid of that in an optimization section an optimization optimization VTM should I say right for starters I'm just gonna pull this back to where it should be around about there and I need to actually make bring down this area here so I need to start as just select my edge mode and I'm just gonna connect these whoa that's going awfully wrong ah that's why um, I'll just connect these no I won't ah, I don't even need to connect that right sorry about that I'm just gonna select my cutting tool and I'm just gonna cut In fact, I'll make it a bit wide. From there to there. See how wide it... Oh, wrong reference. Now I can kind of see how it's going to look like inside. The barrel actually stops, doesn't it? And it's just hollow. So I've actually done the area wrong. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select this. I'm just going to delete all the back thing that I made. Like literally, that's just all gone now. In fact, it's probably best, right? I'm just going to delete out that whole thing. I'm just going to come back to the front and just go to transparent mode thingy mode and I'm just going to create a whole new cylinder oops made a new cylinder by accident now I'm just going to pull this down a bit and just bring down the faces too, I think I had it at 10 last time didn't I? I'm going to try and fit this in it's really thin at the moment just in fact, it's probably best just manually typing in 200. I'll do. It's just to quickly get it. Cause it stops around. Let me just come to my. It stops around there. Let's get down these segments that I don't need. I'm just going to convert it to an editable poly, and I'm just going to come onto here and just apply that material that I made before. I'm just going to come back to the gun and just put the pistol in its original position and I am beyond hungry at the moment right now I'm just going to select the back of it and pull it back to exactly the same as that one come to the front and bring it out I'm just going to select this and just centre the pivot to the middle of the object. Right now, I'm just going to pull it back to how far it needs to go. It's around about there. Push it back. I need to make sure this is accurate. Now, I actually need to model in this middle area. So, I'm just going to select this cut that I made before. I'm just going to bring it back. I'm just going to make a small cut on the other side at the same sort of angle if I can. I mean, it's I know it's about 